Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to today's lesson. Okay, yesterday I gave you a homework on subtraction, uh, page 26. Subtraction, so you have to do question 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, question 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, for today I won't be discussing the homework yet. I'm giving you some time to complete the exercises. We will be discussing this exercise on Friday when we meet uh, on Google Meet. Okay, so <clears throat> so for, for today, I want to move on to multiplication. Okay, let's look at some examples here. Okay, each box can fit 10 uh, vases, one box, 10 vases. How many vases will fit into 35,215 boxes of similar size? So you have to times 10. <clears throat> so times 10 is very easy. You just copy the number over there. Okay, 35,000 times 1, you get the same number. And then times 10, there's an extra 0. So you just add an extra 0 behind. Okay, I repeat, you just copy the number and then you add an extra zero behind. Okay, so salin number itu 35,215 and then times 10, there's one zero here, satu sifar. So tambah saja sifar di belakang, add a zero behind. So that is your answer. So what about times 100? So times 100, there are two zeros, at a dua sifar. So you copy the numbers in front, salin nombor depan, and then dua sifar tambah dua sifar di belakang. So you get 849,300. Okay, saya so ulang, you copy the numbers in front, 8,493. And then when you times 100, you have two zeros, you add two zeros behind. So you get 849,300. Okay, what about three zeros? Okay, darab seribu. So same thing, you copy 764. Ada tiga sifar, tambahkan tiga sifar di belakang. So your answer, 764,000. Okay, what if the unknown is the one in the middle? Okay, kita dah nak cari nombor ni di tengah. So, same thing. Um, 652, you can see 652 here. So, what is extra here is the three zeros behind. Ada tiga sifar di belakang. So, itu jawapan dia. Seribu. Okay, seribu ada tiga sifar. So, kita letak seribu. Okay, you can see here. 652 times 10. Tambah satu sifar di belakang. 652 times 100. Tambah dua sifar di belakang. Okay, nombor depan salin saja. 652 times 1000. Salin nombor depan tambah tiga sifar di belakang. Okay. So, if the unknown is in the middle. You just have to underline the same number. There are three zeros behind, so you just add three zeros for a thousand. Right, you cannot just write three zeros, you write one and then three zeros. Only a thousand has three zeros. Okay, what's the total area of tiles produced in four days? So 25,000 square meters per day, satu hari 25,000. So empat hari, darab empat. Okay, so 4 times 25,000. 4 times 0, 0. 4 times 0, 0. 4 times 0, 0. 4 times 5, 20. 2 you write on top. 4 times 2, 8. Plus 2, 10. Okay. Method number 2, you can plus 4 times. 25,000 plus 25,000 plus 25,000 plus 25,000. You get a hundred thousand. So I'll be darab empat ataupun tambah empat kali. This is called a repeated addition. 
Okay, and you will get the same answers. So total area in four days is 100,000 square meters. Okay, let's look at this. Calculate 6 multiplied by 70,000. Uh, 900 so there are two ways you can do this either you plus six times okay, that is actually uh, more troublesome so instead we take six and then we times 70,900 okay darabkan enam enam darab sifar sifar enam darab sifar sifar enam darab sembilan lima puluh empat okay empat 5 atas 6 darab sifar sifar tambah 5 5 so biasa kalau saya nampak depan sifar saya terus tulis 6 darab 9 5 4 saya terus tulis sebab depan ialah sifar 6 darab 7 42 so your final answer 425,400 ok let's look at 2 digits Okay, two digits. So we have 14,095 times 70. Okay, so times 70, the zero here, you can straight away copy here. Terus salin sifar itu ke bawah. Okay, so yang lain awak darab macam biasa. 7 times 5, 35. Uh, 7 times 9, 63. Plus 3, 66. There's a 0 in front, so the way you write 66 here. 7 times 4, 28. 7 times 1, 7 plus 2, 9. So you get 986,650. Okay, tengok yang ini. 2 digit darab 4 digit. Okay, 43 times 2,604. So, the first row, ada dua baris. Baris pertama, saya guna tiga untuk darab. I use 3 to multiply first. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12. Because there's 0 in front, so I should we write 12. 3 times 6, 18. 1 on top, 3 times 2, 6. Plus 1, 7. So, that is the first row, baris pertama. Baris kedua mula dengan sifar dulu. Start with the zero. And then now we use four to multiply. Guna empat untuk darab. Four times four, I write 16. Because there's a zero in front. Four times six, 24. I write two here. Four times two, eight. Eight plus two, ten. Okay, and then you add up. Okay, tambahkan. Two times zero. 1, ta 1 plus, uh, sorry, 2 plus 0, 1 plus 6, 8 plus 1, 7 plus 4, and 1. So, 111,972. So, that is the first method. For second method, they call this a lattice method. Okay, you can try this also if you think it's interesting. Okay, I can uh, go through how it works. So same thing, 2,604, you write here, 2,604, 43, you write the side here, 43, okay? So 4 times 4 is 16, so you write 1 here, 6 here, okay? 4 times 0 is 0, <coughs> so both also 0. 4, <coughs> excuse me, 4 times 6, 24, so we write 24. 4 times 2 is 8, so we write 0, 8. Okay, now we use 3 to multiply. 3 times 4 is 12. 1, 2 is 12. 3 times 0 is double zeros. 3 times 6 is 18, 1, 8. 3 times 2 is 6, 0, 6. Okay, then we add them up diagonally. Okay, like this. Diagonally. Okay, we add like this. Okay, we plus the numbers like this. So the first number is 2, so you write 2. The second number is 6 plus 1, you write 7. The third number is 1 plus 8, you write 9. Then we have 4 plus 1 plus 6 is 11. So 1 here, 1 on top. 
So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 8 is 11. So 1 here, 1 on top. So 1 plus 0 is 1. So your answer is 111,972. You read like this, which is the same as the one we did just now. Uh, so which one is easier? You choose. Okay, usually the primary school pupils, they choose the normal method, which is this one. Two rows, all right? First row for the first number, second row for the second number. Question 9, what is the product? Apakah product of this and this? When you see the word product, P-R-O-D-U-C-T, that means you have two times. So, ambil nombor ini, darab nombor ini. So, 12,508 times uh, 38. Okay, then you get your answer. Okay, next we look at um, estimation. Okay, estimation. So, example 11, 7,815 times 21. So, we estimate the answer. Um, 21, we round off to the nearest 10. So, we get 20. 7,815, we round off to the nearest 1,000. We get 8,000. So, we take... 220 times 8,000, we get 160,000. This is estimation, okay? Alright, estimation. And then we calculate the actual answer. Okay, darab, seperti nombor yang diberikan. You get 164,115. So, this actual answer is nearer to 160,000. So the answer is reasonable. Okay, this is only for estimation. Okay, for estimation, you have to round off the numbers first. Then only you times. This is for estimation only. Okay, if there's no estimation, you don't have to round off the numbers. Okay, so I think that's about it for multiplication. So your homework today on page 32, buka surat 32, soalan 1, 2, dan 3. Okay, so question 1 is very simple. You just copy, add a 0. Copy, add 2 zeros. Copy, add 3 zeros, right? Now for D, you have to uh, divide. Okay, you have to divide. But it's very simple. There are two zeros here. So you just cross two zeros behind. You copy this one. 2, 7, 3, 4. Same thing here. There are three zeros behind. Cross three zeros. So you copy this one. 948. This one only one zero. You cross one zero. You copy this one. 68,409. Okay. The others you have to multiply one by one. Then multiply by two digits. Okay, so this is the homework for today. So make sure you complete your subtraction exercises and multiplication exercises. And then on Friday, when I see you on Google Meet, I will discuss the answers one by one on your individual whiteboard. Okay, so I'll see you on Friday. Bye bye.